In this video, I'm going to be showing how to make complex envelopes in pure data. Um, so what I'm showing here to begin with is a common example of how to make an envelope in pure data. Usually we'll use this via line, which takes in these arguments here. Um, and so one is a target value. And then this 100 is how long it takes in milliseconds to get to that target value. And then our next target is zero, and it will get there in 100 milliseconds. And then this is a delay, so it waits after this amount of time. Uh, so, and you can see that here in this table. And then this is, this is what it sounds like. So you can change these values and make it come up a lot faster. And so what you see is it's a perfectly straight line. And so in a complex envelope, usually it has some kind of curve where it ramps up, uh, you know, dips down as it ramps up, or it sometimes makes a, um, a higher curve. Uh, and so I'm just going to show an easy way to do that. And so first I'll copy this whole thing and paste it down here. So now we're writing it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put um, this pal block here. And what pow does is it's um, um, it's like saying uh, exponential, or it's raising the input to some exponent. Um, so if we put pow two, what we're doing is squaring whatever the input is, and when you square it, uh, you'll see here that it gives it this curved shape, and so we can increase it to some number. Uh, the more we increase it. the more steep the curve is. And then if we put it at 1, it's still just a line. And then if you put it lower than 1, you see it curves that way. And then the closer it gets to 0, the more it takes on that shape. And so if you want to have something that curves one way as it rises and curves the other way as it goes down, you can do what I'm about to show you. Now I've just duplicated this, and so right now they're exactly the same. But if I change this one to essentially be only the rising edge, and then and then drop to zero immediately, and then what I can do is I can have this one start, go to one, instantly as soon as that last one is done and then drop down to zero so essentially I've just broken the rise and fall from this side into two separate parts so right now it should look the same as this and it does and so what we could do now is we can change the shape of the rising side Or we could change just the shape of the falling side. Uh, and so, you, yeah, so that's how you can make a, a complex envelope. 
And then if you'd like to, you can sort of clean this up. So for example, if you want to make it easier to change in the future, um, you could say you want 100 seconds, 100 microseconds, 100 milliseconds to rise and 100 milliseconds to fall. And then you could attach that to these. And now if you replace this, dollar uh, sign one, this is dollar sign one. So now this 100 is gonna go to both of those values. And then over here, if you want dollar sign one, and then this one is dollar sign one, because it's gonna wait that long to perform its action. And dollar sign two, will be the second one. So actually it might be easier if I make a different value so you can see. All right, so now what you see is it takes 100 milliseconds to rise and then 50 milliseconds to fall. So that's where this 150 comes from. Another way you could do that is you could use number boxes um, and have your values in there. and then send those to pack. And they're packing two floats into there. So you can change them, change them a lot easier now. And you could, I don't know, you could put whatever you want here. You could have sliders that affect it, or you could have other other signals come in and affect that. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of possibilities here. And you can make whatever shape you want. So also you could um, you could use these as inputs also and have the shape of this change dynamically as controlled by some other thing. Um, there's really a lot you could do with this. I feel like it's a pretty simple way to make a lot of different shapes. So I hope you found this interesting or useful or if you have any comments please let me know. There's a different way of doing this that you prefer. Some other simple way or whatever I'm, I'm interested to hear it. Thanks.